Hello everyone, welcome back and thanks for watching. So maybe it's just me, but growing up as a kid, especially after Desert Storm started, I started thinking that every conflict, every major conflict after that would result in World War III. And part of the reason for that is at the time there were all these Nostradamus documentaries coming out that were predicting the end of the world. In the year 1999 and seven months, from the sky will come the great king of terror. He will bring back to life the king of the Mongols. Before and after war reigns. Warfare on a greater scale than ever before. Explosions. There will be a great onslaught. I will tell you that I'm concerned enough that I am preparing. Uh, I'm down here in my bunker right now, which I've been stocking up with food and water. Uh, a lot of the food that I'm stocking up with is from preparewithdronetech.com. So I suggest that any of you, you don't have anything stored, you have nothing ready to go in case the unthinkable happens. Give yourself some peace of mind. Head on over to preparewithdronetech.com and get yourself, at least get started on an emergency food storage. But I don't know, it just feels different this time. And those feelings are bubbling up again this morning as I read news that Putin is reportedly depressed and has moved his family to a, quote, secret underground city ahead of nuclear war evacuation drills that Russia is allegedly about to have. Now, let me just warn you. I mean, you can see this page and I'm not real sure about the credibility of the Express, nor do I know anything about their source which is apparently a Telegram account called General SVR. And I also don't know much about General SVR, but I did some searching and found this Patreon page. And according to it, General SVR is doing inside investigations, information from the Kremlin, and stories of murders, terrorist attacks, and political reprisals. I do not know if this is some sort of Russian propaganda outlet or a watchdog or what. So just keep that in mind. Either way, I thought it would be good to go ahead and take a look at this story because it does sound like something Putin would do as part of his escalation strategy, which is allegedly the tactic that he thinks is going to have the best chances of success. So according to the Express, quote, on Saturday, Russia launched its unstoppable nuclear capable hypersonic missile, destroying a military storage facility in Ukraine. And I think we all saw the news of that. It is quite scary because as far as we know, there is no defense against this attack. Although the fact is, if if there's a nuclear war, they're going to drop so many nukes that it's not going to matter if we stop a few of them because there's just going to be so many. Back to the article. In a recent post, the Telegram channel General SVR said senior political figures were warned on behalf of the president that perhaps in the near future, they will participate in practicing evacuation in case of a nuclear war. Apparently, all who were contacted with this warning were seriously surprised and concerned about this initiative by the president. Well, yeah, I would think so. I mean, we're talking about nuclear war. We already know that nobody wins a nuclear war, mutually assured destruction. It's always kept us out of it before, but apparently Putin is, is willing to at least bring us to the very brink of nuclear war in order to get what he wants. And like I said, this is a strategy that allegedly Putin prefers. And it's something that you see a lot of these dictators do. I mean, we've seen it over and over again in North Korea, where they push things to the brink to get what they want, and then they quiet down a little bit. Except for in this case, Okay, Putin is willing to invade countries, invade multiple countries, and bring us to the like real chance of nuclear war uh, in order to get what he wants. Because I guess at this chance, at this point, I mean, what other options does he have? He's so invested at this point that he can't pull back now. So anyway, continuing with the article, a source earlier told Mail Online that the 69-year-old Russian leader is going through several serious medical issues. Again, this sounds really familiar. Okay, so this all comes across as propaganda to me. I got to be honest, uh, I'm not sure who from. Exactly. Exactly, but not just because of the horrible format and the distracting ads everywhere on this page, uh, which doesn't really lend it credibility. But personally, I think there is a very good chance, especially if Putin's back is against the wall and he's not making the gains in Ukraine that he absolutely must make if he's not making them uh, in quick enough time and losing lots of soldiers, losing support uh, because it's going so bad. If he's pushed into a corner like that, I, you know, I think he very well could detonate a tactical nuclear device in Ukraine. And, uh, you know, if this story is true, he's letting us know that he is a wild card who is crazy enough to do it. Now, <laughs> earlier I mentioned, you know, the fact that uh, it, 
the reporting in this reminds me of what we saw uh, from the Democrat state media against Trump. Uh, now, not that I'm comparing Trump to Putin here, don't get the wrong idea, but this is or was part of Trump's strategy as well, making leaders think that he was you know, nuts out of his mind and could literally do anything. This strategy works, especially when the Biden regime and NATO are united, if anything, in their limp-wristed weakness. I mean, they're broadcasting on a regular basis that it doesn't really matter what Putin does, uh, that we're not going to get involved militarily, NATO's not going to get involved militarily. Uh, don't get me wrong, I don't want World War III. And, you know, if we do get involved militarily, it's almost certain. Now, it's not guaranteed that it's going to be nuclear, but uh, conventionally, I don't think Russia stands much of a chance against both America and NATO. You know, maybe just NATO, I, but I have my doubts about that as well. Their military, you know, they've got a ton of armor uh, because they've basically told their military for ground warfare. Uh, but it's uh, so much of it is just old and decaying. It's been sitting in fields for decades. It, you know, they could ramp up a huge operation to repair all these tanks and armor and and uh, boost their military a little bit. But, I, you know, I don't quite think enough. And I'm no expert. I'm just going based off, you know, YouTube videos I've watched and things I've read. Uh, but the fact is, why wouldn't Putin at this point just completely keep pushing his limits on NATO until we all capitulate to his demands. So let me just finish this article up for you all real quick. Um, repeating earlier claims about this alleged condition, which have been dismissed by the Kremlin, the Post said, quote, when Vladimir Putin, who suffers from oncology, Parkinson's disease, and schizoaffective disorder, <laughs> that doesn't sound good, invites members of the government and heads of the State Department and the Federation Council, which is the lower and upper houses of par parliament in Russia, to take part in preparing for an evacuation in case of a nuclear war, it becomes not fun at all. Yeah, this situation, this, these are the reasons I'm starting to get a little nervous about all this and it feels different to me because it is daily, on a daily basis now, uh, increasing uh, in escalation. And it's Putin who's doing it. And as he's doing this, we continue to look weak and we're doing basically nothing. I, I don't think, I'm not saying the answer is World War III, but I also don't know if there's any stopping it. Because ultimately, if we just allow Putin to continue taking over former Soviet satellites, uh, he's just going to grow and grow and grow and grow in power until China and Russia will dominate the world because we have done nothing and we will get increasingly weaker. The source added that Putin sent shockwaves across his top generals after he demanded that a nuclear drill be undertaken. The recent demand led to increasing fears that he is preparing for a nuclear conflict, obviously. Another Russian expert has previously claimed that Putin has moved his family to a secret location. Another Russian expert, who who knows who that is, that's another reason why I think this article is a little funny, uh, has previously claimed that Putin has moved his family to a secret location that is not just a bunker, but a huge underground city in order to keep them safe from potential nuclear fallout. That's where we're at, folks. Uh, I gotta tell you, I'm not feeling really good about any of this, uh, especially with the people that we have at the helm right now. A guy who is essentially a reanimated corpse. When I see Saki get up there and shame, you know, Russia and China uh, uh, based on how history will view them, I get really nervous because that's not serious. That's not like taking this situation seriously. All right, folks, thanks for watching. Just a quick one for today. If you enjoyed it, please hit that like button, share and subscribe. Then leave a comment to let us all know what you think.